Georgia lawmakers are considering changes that could impact your next trip to the library. Two separate proposals are working their way through the state Senate. 11 Alive's Jerry Carnes at the state capitol this morning with details. One proposal calls for a rating system for books, Jerry. Uh, that's right, Aisha. Good morning. Senate Republicans are taking two different approaches to this issue. One proposal calls for closer scrutiny of books, while the other takes aim at the people who run public libraries. First came the debate over book bans. Now, some Georgia lawmakers want an even closer examination of the books available at public libraries and the people who make them available. These bills are an attack on our children's civil liberties and they seek to limit our kids' identities. Senate Bill 394 would require ratings for certain books that would indicate if they included, quote, sexually explicit material. It would also block school districts from purchasing books from any company that doesn't provide such a rating. Recent library bans have taken aim at books that tackle LGBTQ issues. Rhonda Thomas of the group Truth in Education supports the proposal. This type of information be giving to these young people can cause behavioral issues. This is not removing those books from them. These books can be found anywhere, but they are not appropriate in K-12 library. Another proposal would cut funding to programs tied to the American Library Association, the only group that can accredit librarians in Georgia. Supporters say the ALA uses its certification to push, quote, Marxist political beliefs. Decatur High School sophomore Nia Batra fears it will all lead to the elimination of books that helped her through childhood. I'm Asian and queer myself. I really needed those books growing up. Those books are going to be the first that educators take off the shelves. In a statement, the American Library Association says it will remain committed to assuring, quote, free and unfettered access to a wide range of information. State senators haven't yet taken a vote on either bill. If it is all approved, the changes would take effect next July. Back to you.